and your body blew, blew outside here. So as you've seen in the thumbnail, my freeze dryer is broken or it's actually having an issue that in the long term will cause the board to fail. And what's going on is I'm getting a uh, mid-batch hitter heater failure notification. I will go ahead and put that picture up here of what it looks like. So I contacted Harvest Right. They were like, we're not doing anything about it. I'm joking. I'm still under warranty. So it's a joke. So they set up an appointment. I got a phone call from one of their techs. I sent them some of my files. They went over it. I was on the phone four minutes and they were like, hey, we're going to ship you a new motherboard. So I've got the motherboard right here. I haven't even taken it out of this package. So what I'm going to do is show you how to install it. Uh, because they send you a video and the video they show you has got this big metal plate on it and it's got a capacitor on it and obviously that's not what I got. So I'm going to show you what we do and uh, we'll walk through it. So stay with me. Alright everybody, so I am at the back of the freeze dryer. I went ahead and taken all the screws out. I actually just took the... Okay, I don't, you don't need to take them all out. Just take them out so you can access the back panel. Or the top panel, okay? And I am using... It is either your choice of a number 3 metric Allen wrench or a 1 8 inch Allen wrench. Okay, so that's what the screws go there. Hopefully the screws on the board are the same. So once you get this off, make sure you guys can see, here's the top. My top's a little rough. So all you do is grab it and pull. It's got those little locking things right there. So now uh, safety always first so make sure you completely unplug the unit all right so originally they would send you this whole setup all right now they just send the board and it looks like I need a Phillips head screwdriver to take that panel off so something else I did okay so I'll bring you around to the front and what I did previously is I went ahead and marked if I can zoom in for those I just marked each one of these with, I mean, it's a one, two marks, three marks, and then there's like four marks. They kind of run together, but it's so I can be like one, two, three, four, left or right, you know, so I can relabel it. Um, and then this is just white and black, white and black. So, and then this will come out, and then these will come out. So I'll have to label those somehow. All right. So, wait, did I show you that? No. So then this comes off. Yeah, these will have to come out. I'm going to have to label those somehow. I'll probably just uh, mark. Well, I guess I'll just mark it. So, all right. So, power is already out. So, what I'm going to do next is um, there's a screw oh, that just pops out. There's a screw right there. So I'm going to get that screw off. And then I will take pliers and pinch these little white um, holders and that board should come directly off. All right. So like I said originally, they just sent this whole piece and you had to disconnect this capacitor, which uh, it's like, obviously feels like it's hardwired in. I can't really see it. So obviously, like I said, I've unplugged it. And I have this one screw here. So I actually needed some, uh, it's not coming out. Well, this is difficult. Oh, there we go. Push up on the bottom. Yeah, there's a nut right there. Great. I didn't know that. Alright, so we take that off. Yeah, the video they sent was an older one. So still the same thing you just got to remove this board all right that's off I don't have needle nose pliers so what I'm going to do next is just pinch this one pinch and pinch. Not 
sure that's how that was supposed to work, but whatever. It worked. That's all that matters to me. All right. So previously, they also showed you how to take. They had you take the ground wire off. These out. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually. It's how they showed you to do it in the videos. They actually just moved all the wires over one by one after you got the new board in. So that's what I'm going to do. But I still like the mark stuff because you never know what happens. So put those back in. Let's see. So what was going bad was probably my heater relay, and um, they're actually labeled. So there's a spare relay. There's one for a drain that we don't use because I guess they're wanting to put drains in them, automatic drains, heater, the vacuum, and then the condenser. So, yep. This is easily a DIY. Doesn't matter if you don't have the snapped it right back in. I'm thinking this is also a ground um, screw. How do I get that down in there? I'm going to tell you what, if you're shorter than I am, you're going to have a fun time unless you're standing on a chair or your freeze dryer is shorter. finger on that nut. Quit dropping your screwdriver. The only thing I'm not looking forward to is probably the... I bet there was something in a space room between there. Whatever. The um, only thing I'm not... I'm kind of worried about is the fact that they probably gave me the new uh, program and I'm not into the new program. I like the way I always had it. So You can ask my wife, not a huge fan of change. Alright, so I'll take the ribbon one, plug it in, and I'm going to take the rainbow one, so unplug that one. Move the ground wire out of the way. Hope you guys are seeing this. Sorry about that. All right, so I have a one that's hooked up to the spare, which looks like it's hooked up to the capacitor. So we'll take the one that's to the closest to the edge of the board, pull it off, stick it right where I pulled it off at. Oh, geez, what was that? Hmm. So I actually had to make an appointment with Harvest Right for them to call because apparently they're super busy with their techs. So, but they emailed it promptly. So, let's see. The next one is the heater. 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 Next one is vacuum. You want to double and triple check because the last thing you want to do is cross the wire and then figure out why your stuff's not working properly. Something else I'm wondering if the relay's going bad, if I could buy a relay online 
pop that one out with the solder gun and solder the new one in if I have a backup board. I could do that. So, and then we have the, oh, these are the power cables. Black is negative. Oh, geez. Hmm. All right, so there's the old board. That's the one, the relay that was going bad. And it's held on by 10 pins, so I wonder if I could just swap that out. I don't know, we'll find out. They're gonna follow up with me, make sure everything's working fine. So um, I'm gonna put this back together. Actually, I'm gonna plug it in, turn it on, and we will go from there, so stay with me. All right, so got it plugged in, turned it on, accidentally activated the uh, the run, you know, when you run a batch, so you hear the compressor right now. So I like, ah, oh, my finger tripped. So as you see, I have version 5.0.12. I cannot remember what one I had before. So what I'm gonna do is to go through and test all the relays is I'm gonna hit the green leaf up here or the plant, whatever it is. Um, and then these pop up. So this will engage the condenser. That one engages the temperature, which I can see the temperature rise here. Um, and the vacuum will activate the pump because it's plugged into the back. And the auxiliary relay, I don't have any idea what that's for. So let's go ahead and turn the freezer on. Let's turn the heater on first. So this temperature should start to rise. Get my finger out of the way, I apologize. Did it actually just drop? So as you can see, the room temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. But my feet are cold. So the trays are starting to go up. Yep, my trays are going up. Opened it, they're warm. Okay, so we're gonna turn that off. Let's go ahead and try the vacuum. Should hear the pump engage. I don't think that one's working. Obviously it is. So that worked. And in the freezer, we hear the condenser kicking in. So the only thing I have to do now is put this back together and run a batch. So, uh, yeah, I will just let you know at this point at the bottom of the screen that it worked. So thanks everybody. Uh, hopefully, um, you know, this will help you. Don't be afraid to do it yourself. You've seen how easy it was. You needed an Allen wrench to take the screws out. You needed a screwdriver and a pair of pliers to pull the board off, pull it, switch it out, you're good to go. All right, guys, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.